Friday, February 27th, and here's some of the news beyond the headlines. A series of devastating avalanches has left nearly 200 people dead in northern Afghanistan. Heavy snow swept through villages of Panjir province this week, burying homes, schools and a mosque. The deep snow and lack of equipment have hampered rescue efforts, and officials say a humanitarian crisis is expected. Islamic State militants have taken sledgehammers and drills to ancient statues and sculptures in the city of Mosul. A man in this video posted online claims that the Prophet Muhammad had ordered Muslims to destroy relics and idols worshipped in the past. Some archaeologists say the damage is immeasurable. Others say most of the pieces appear to be modern replicas rather than originals. Arizona police have uncovered a sophisticated tunnel used to smuggle drugs from Mexico. On Monday, officers found more than two tons of marijuana in the back of a truck during a traffic stop. After searching a house nearby, they discovered the entrance to a tunnel beneath a garden shed. Two men were arrested. The tunnel runs from the border town of Naco in Arizona to Sonora, Mexico, and is equipped with a hydraulic lift, lighting, and a ventilation system. Officials don't yet know how long it is or exactly where it leads to on the other end. Elephants are being trained to sniff out bombs, landmines, and poachers in the South African bush. The U.S. Army is supporting the project. It's the brainchild of a farmer who discovered the animal's gift while growing up in Zimbabwe. African elephants can pick up a scent more than 300 feet away. And unlike dogs, who need constant training, elephants never seem to forget a smell. But the animals won't be taken onto the battlefield. Our thing is not to take the elephant into theater, it's to take a scent from okay. the area that we suspect to have drugs or, a, or an explosive and bring it to the animal. The army hopes to figure out if the biological structures found in elephants' trunks can be converted into technology that could help soldiers in combat. Check out the Vice News YouTube channel for more original reporting and documentaries from around the world. <laughs>